Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, King6. I'm going to be showing you how to carry on Tristana in the top lane role, and we're going to be building some very spicy items, lots and lots of attack speed, and we're going to round off our build with a hole breaker because we're going to be doing some split pushing, plus hole breaker is really, really overpowered. It's not even nerfed on range champs. Most items that have absurdly strong passives are weaker for range champs, and even keystones can be that way, but uh, not hole breaker. They haven't done it yet, so... We'll probably be rushing for an Immoral Shield Bow into Phantom, into uh, Holebreaker. We may even pick up some Armor Pen in between. We're up against the Lilia top lane. I don't know what happened, but after I put out a Lilia top lane guide recently, it seems like everyone's playing Lilia tank top lane and she's super annoying. You pretty much want to play a mage top lane into it, like Malzahar or Annie, but I really wanted to play Triss, so I just went ahead and did that. We're going to start with our E. We have Lethal Tempo as well, so after we proc it on her, we'll go in for an all-in. We need to get off one more auto. Attack speed's still pretty slow even with the lethal tempo proc because we don't have our Q yet. Ah, I missed that minion. Got our lethal tempo back up. She steps up for this, she's gonna get hit. Can proc a lethal tempo by hitting with an ability, blowing something up near her. I'm trying to bait out her Qs. I actually missed my slow on it, but we got her flash. She's really fearful of the all-in. The range of autos, we can kind of push her around. You just need to get comfortable moving in between every auto attack so you don't get yourself caught out of position. Her way is still pushing to me, which is actually exactly what we want. We're gonna hide in the bush so the enemy jungler doesn't get any funny ideas. The more you break vision, the less likely you are to get ganked. She might just be backing right now. And now we have our Q. That is gonna make a big diffy. I'm gonna turn it on so we don't miss a minion there. Yeah, she just TP'd back. Now I'm gonna have to go get a ward down, but I don't have a ward to lay, unfortunately. I used it in lane because she was bush abusing me. We're gonna get an auto on her for our lethal tempo. We're gonna use our last refill. She didn't quite get us with that one right there. Ooh, got our lethal tempo back up. You can also take Hell Blades or Pressy Attack. It looks like Zen's actually coming top side. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this out with my Q. We want to get this shoved out so we don't get ganked by Zen Zhao. And now we'll leave. First back, it depends on what you're playing against. If you're playing against something all in, you can rush tier two boots like play still caps. Otherwise, Vampiric's a really good purchase because we have overheal. I'm going to pick up a control word as well. The overheal is going to keep us super, super healthy. You can't do any significant damage to top or mid turret before the five minute mark. Once it is the five minute mark, then you want to save your Q to where you can mash it against the turret generally if that enemy laner isn't willing to trade with you. But for right now, we can use our Q. It doesn't cost any mana. It's a really good option. At the five minute mark, we'll start using our E to push. By the time we get to the turret, your E's on a lower cooldown. We'll be back up ready to use. Lily is backing off. She's going in for a ward somewhere. I'm going to set some of these minions up so I can get them... Get them together. We're gonna have to turn on our Q here. Thin these out a lot. Overheal's putting in some work. Makes you really artificially tanky having that little shield. Basically getting to life still health that you don't even have. So even when you're full health, if they hit you with a straight auto attack, it's like it never happened. We're gonna turn on our Q, shove this wave. It's still, ooh, it is actually the five minute mark right now. We should have held it. Oh well. And it gotta go down for a word anyways. Plus 10. I'll put this on the turret. It'll blow up on the minions nearby. We can still get off every auto attack to fully proc it there. 
all four stacks. She's really scared to trade at the moment. She's playing pretty defensive. She is rushing for the Frozen Heart, which is the standard first item rush on that build. That's why it's so good against 80 top laners. That's why I said you can pick Annie or Malzahar into it and do pretty good. You'll outrange it and they'll have the proper damage type. WEQ. Now, with that being said, we can still make this work. Xin Zhao's bot side, we have room to breathe. She's going to miss both of those. I might actually get ganked by their mid lane. I don't see him in his lane at the moment. I want her to step up a little bit. She's not really <clears throat> willing to at the moment. WEQ out there. We got her with our R and Ignite right as her uh, R was going off there. So she gets her picking Lilia top. <laughs> oh man, that's what, that's what you get. Lilia top is so hard to beat on melee champions, even if you're constantly out playing her. It's like it doesn't even matter. There we go. We'll get at least another plate out of this. As the mini wave gets closer, I'll shoot my E onto it. That way we can get that sweet AOE damage. One auto back there. Ah, oh, we missed one dang. All right, we can actually go ahead and reset. We're sitting on a lot of resources. Or at the very least, we need to break this. I guess we can stay. She doesn't have R. Probably thinks we back. We'll max Q second. We'll let her step up. Hey, buddy. W E Q. I missed an auto there. That was tragic. Now we can use the lethal tempo to shove out the wave. We have so much attack speed, even though we haven't built a single attack speed item. And in our runes, we took Bloodline as well. So. All right, Zin's coming. He's finally making his way. I broke his blast cone, though, and I had it warded. He's not likely to pursue this. He may go for Herald. Backing on Cannon Wave, perfect. We'll go ahead and grab our... We go Berserker Greaves and pick up a big chunk of this. We need to get back to our turret. Lily has pretty good... Wave clear, even if her single target damage is low, her AoE is super, super high. Decided to go for a tier 2 boot rush. We can still go for crack and Slayer. That is an option. They're not that tanky. That's why I was feeling the shield, though. They're more bursty than anything else. At least we got XP from the cannon. Better than nothing. But now our attack speed is feeling really juicy much easier to last hit and I'm gonna take my time last hitting I don't know where their jungler is until we see him somewhere on the mini map I don't want to do anything too crazy we can go ahead and dump the wave at this point though we got our W resets back up off of that Zin's out, yeah, Zin's out spot, that's perfect. Lethal Tempo's almost ready. Put this on her turret to give myself that proc. Ignited her, straight in the R, she's dead. Look at this attack speed, dude, this is so dirty. Holy moly. My Q alone's giving me 65% for seven seconds, it feels so strong. Gonna go ahead and hit both of these refills. I think I can carry this game, even with enemies being ahead while I'm ahead top. Tristan is the right type of champ to carry this. We'll put our E on this, got our Q on, get it fully procced. Beautiful. Absolutely chunking this turret. I'm going to get first turret like 10 minutes in here. 
Nice. That is so much extra gold. Beautiful. Lily has plated steel caps now. I'm gonna have to look into getting armor penetration. I might have to look to get a Searle dose. Or just building in the last whisper should be sufficient. I'll grab a blue trinket. Lilia can't top lane anymore. She needs to swap with her mid laner. But realistically, none of them can match me. They could send their bot lane top and run two versus one. It might work. If you if you keep keep getting solo killed by something that outscales you, you're not gonna be able to come back to lane and suddenly start winning. I've been avoiding the jungle ganks as well with wards and like my how I've been controlling the lane. Zin's not a full item. I just need one more auto. There we go. You can buffer your W and then flash and get a lot more distance, so you can immediately. W flash. That's what I did there to close that gap. I think we're going to end this a really quick. Getting double herald. I'll take it. You normally want to give it to your jungler, but I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, guys. Believe it or not, I'm a jungle main. I'm also really, really fed. Two of them bought right now. Their mid's missing, jungle's missing. Ninzao may be waiting over here. We got that beautiful overheal on. Yeah, it looks like Zerath's here. I got a scram. Zerath is going to complicate things. I don't see a ward over here. I can wait. She'll likely step up. She's been falling for that. When I peel off into the darkness, she steps up to die. Just like this. She lost over half her health there, and we burned barely any mana. Because on two, only two of those spells costed mana. My Q's free. So it was 60 plus 70. I'll be taking this. need a crit man there we go and just jump away i don't want zerath to like flash stun me that's kind of funny he really didn't like me taking that blue buff he has three kills almost half his team's kills i'm gonna hit these refills kill the lilia i, I could have laid my herald mid that would have been the most optimal move yeah we'll back We'll pick up Searle does or this. They're both really good. I guess we should probably go for Lord Doms. Even though Searle does. You know, I prefer Searle does. I'm going to be attacking so fast. Think of like the old Kogma with Frozen Mallet. How they just couldn't get away. I'm going to be like that with the Searle does. And I know you're going to say, oh, but you're not getting the crit. I don't need the crit. I'm going to be building Bloodthirster. An IE and probably another crit item next anyway, so I'm gonna have 80% or 100% crit, it won't matter. The slow on Sword is, is just worth it, man. The slow, there's no other item you can get that with, like a range slow. That's that strong. We'll use our Q and shove this out. We have on that beautiful overhill. It's already shielded us for a thousand. She isn't moving particularly fast. I think I can kill her under turret. It's funny that she's even willing to step up at all. Because when she goes in range like that, I can reach her a little bit. Wasted my uh, blue trinket there. Thought I had oracles. Uh, I kind of, this is a little dangerous. I'll admit. Xin Zhao's mid lane at least. So I guess it's not too too bad. Aw, oh, she just killed it. I gotta get out of here right now. I'm up way too far. I'm the farthest one up on the map by a large margin. 
That's how you get four manned. Oh, look, I, it bugged it. I didn't know that worked with your blue trinket. Normally when you go to lay a herald, after, right after you lay it, if you use your oracle lens, you, you get it back for free like a s second or two later. Apparently it happened with the blue ward because I already had it back ready to use. He's, he's a goner. Oh, uh, please don't. No, Zerath. There's no way. Oh man, he landed most of those. I almost outplayed it. Not quite. Finally get our Searle does. And at this point, I think we want Hole Breaker, man. Cause I'm just gonna keep split pushing. Hole Breaker is gonna be so valuable. Man, these ruffles are so good. I haven't had ruffles in so long. It's been since high school. They're so tasty. Too, definitely too salty, but they're tasting pretty good right now. I generally avoid buying that type of stuff. My wife bought them. Whenever I'm at the store, I try to stay away from things that are pre-packaged normally. Or I should specify and say things that are highly processed and pre-packaged. Make exceptions, of course. That's the, the human specialty is rationalizing and making exceptions. But I'll enjoy them while they last. Our attack speed is, hold on, let me let me see my stats. It's not capped yet just off of our Q. I'm missing so many minions. I was missing them because I stopped trying to last it. I was trying to look at my stats. They're all grouping mid. So dangerous for me to even come down here. So I do it anyways. At least Trundle's over here. It gives me some backup. I have a huge flank on the enemies. Is he going to start it? Or is there a word here? Or what's going on? Yeah, there's something weird going on here. They're acting really weird. There has to be a word here. Where is Lily at? Waiting for her to walk over here so I can kill her. I highly doubt this is warded. If it is, I'm gonna be in some deep, deep crap here in a second. Got her. I need to get out. Or at the very least, get over here where I have more space to move. Like this. Now I'm out. Looks like Ezreal didn't want to fight. I have some levels up on him. I don't think Zin can fight me either. Oh, he knocked me out of the air. Sneaky. Didn't get lethal tempo off that. He didn't take any damage because of his R. I'm going to stick to the split. We'll grab Hole Breaker. These guys are being really aggressive with me. Got him. Uh, I could probably heal back off, off, off the minions. I have my R for Zen if he jumps me. I need to get out though. I need more health back. Maybe if she shoves this wave, I can stay. I can almost afford the hole breaker and then I can solo end this game. Ah, let her step up. She doesn't know where to go right now. She must be roaming mid. Can almost afford the hole breaker. I guess I'll step up. The enemies are going to fight on dragon. Massive pick from Anivia. Huge. I need a... Okay, maybe I don't need to leave, actually. Looks like they're all over there still. Oh, Zerath stole the dragon. 
That is tragic. Ezreal's about to walk into me. Hey, buddy. I have way too much life still for him to do that. He can't just outplay me with skill shots. I have... What was that? 20% life still? That is very substantial. Lurking off here to the side. The enemies are getting kind of low. Got my Q on. Not landing many crits at the moment. I need some more... Uh, attack speed. Is Nivea really stealing red buff? She shouldn't be doing that to her jungler. She can't even use that. It's just bad manners as heck. Okay, finally get our hole breaker. Mm, I'm feeling the Phantom Dancer. This is gonna this is gonna be so good. So now we're ultra tanky. We're getting uh, 47 armor and 47 magic resist right now. And we do 20% damage to turrets. That's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Huge split push item. Where'd you go, Lilia? We're kind of like a ranged Trendomir. Don't know where they're at. Okay, I see two of them mid. I can step up a little bit. I'll wait. I don't, if they're in that bush, I don't want them to see me. This is how split pushing works. You need. All right, we see Zyra, we see Ezra, we see Zerath. That means there's only two of them over here, possibly. I gotta leave right now. This is this is not. We're up too far. This, I'm so scared because there's only two of them mid right now. Okay, there's three mid. Like if Zen and Lilia jump me, this is gonna be so bad. I don't want her to get this cannon. We have to back up now. Once again, I could take this Gromp. Okay, I see where Zen is. I can go ahead and take camps, move in a bit deeper, maybe clear some wards. They're all missing now. That means I'm way too deep. I might have to jump this wall. I just don't know where they are. Okay, they're still mid. So it seems like they don't really want to commit for me. Zerath might come for the blue buff. I'd assume. Yeah, <laughs> he wanted it. I keep taking his blues. He's really trying to carry his team. He's struggling. I'm going to leave this blue word a little more defensively so I know if they're coming up deep on me. I'm going to go deeper. I see there's like four of them mid right now. I'm gonna keep going. I've got 20% more damage against turrets. I don't know why my team keeps trying to surrender. I can easily carry this. Got him. Look at that. I'm so tanky off hold breaker. I can carry this 100%. My team's trying to throw in the towel. I will drag them across the finish line. Love this champion so much with Lethal Tempo. She's so much fun. There's still two of them mid. I guess they don't realize they're about to lose the game. I think my teammates are going to stop their recalls too. That, that's literally GG's. My teammates would keep pursuing them. And yeah, the enemies just quit. They knew I was going to end. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this split push top lane hole breaker Tristana gameplay commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. My name is Kingstix. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.